not a uh, small amount of time. Now I would like our professor uh, Pero Lucin to give us his impressions about yesterday. Uh, thank you. Good morning to everyone. It's still rather early, so uh, words are still uh, very hard to come out of me. I think that yesterday was a very dynamic day for us, because we heard a lot of things. I heard a lot of things that I already knew, but because I was a part of this process for 15 years, and I have uh, met a lot of my colleagues from this uh, uh, region and from other places, and we have discussed a lot of these things and how things should be done. Then we had a discussions in Croatia. And from all those number of lectures, in my, as I mentioned in my uh, introductory lecture, uh, I, I, I concluded my lecture with speaking about new generation of people, and I think that the main task of all of us who are doing this kind of work is who are, who are guiding uh, uh, students through this learning process, it's not just our task, but it's our responsibility to understand how children evolve, how, how, how a human brain is evolving, and we must understand how our society evolves. I think there's a, a, especially, there's a great responsibility on the entire academic community, intellectual community, and people uh, from this academic community are qualified, they are trained, they are trained uh, by using scientific method, they, 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 they were taught scientific method and they have this responsibility to apply that scientific method in shaping their everyday uh, environment and in shaping society itself. So my first message to entire academic society was and to all of us who are doing that kind of work is to, to complete our part of the mission uh, regarding serving our uh, society. We are not simply researchers. We, we have an obligation to, sh to, not to, to use the knowledge that we have gained to put it in a, a good use to our entire uh, society, uh, to share it with the new generation of people people and to ensure for them everything that is uh, necessary to survive in this 21st century. And first and foremost, it's a knowledge and a ability to communicate, to understand their environment, to, to, to bond with, the, with each other, to, 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 to create a stronger society and community and to ensure quality life, quality employment, not just for themselves, but for their colleagues, for their neighbors, for their friends. I think that academic community our community is not very, very well aware of these things. We still have this uh, perception that we are ser servants of the state or state servants. We have enclosed ourselves too much within ourselves and with, it, with our careers. They're simply about achieving material goals. But I think our main task is to open ourselves up to the, to, uh, to the things that happen around us, to this region. In that context, if we look at it, we need to understand uh, how the world evolves. And my perception, according to what I see around me, one of our greatest problems of the people in this region is bonding with each other, bonding our brains together, achieving cooperation and creating a network for diffusion of, of, of knowledge and, and new innovations. So knowledge and innovations are lost with, with our, our communication, which is not in a sufficient level. 
and a great number of people are not uh, able to uh, implement an idea, and that's why uh, the diffusion happens, that idea is not able to reach to every single individual, to the society, and then we have this fall of uh, moral values, and then confusion happens, confusion with, it, with the communication, how society uh, perception of how society should be evolving, in which direction. So uh, in our discussion we talked about Bologna, and my opinion is that Bologna is a good framework for those changes that has happened and that should have happened uh, with higher education. Bologna is a framework is not something that was someone taught somewhere in some distant village, but it's a framework that was designed and evolved and, uh, for a, 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 a decade. And in that process, uh, the best experts participated in Europe, best experts from Europe all took uh, a part, who understood the learning process and all the research uh, that was done and that framework, uh, uh, as it evolved, uh, we, uh, in this region, like many countries, we cannot afford ourselves, uh, we couldn't afford ourselves to start this process, this kind of process on this higher scale. I, I, I think it's very clear that we didn't interpret this in a proper way, we didn't have the knowledge and the skill to implement everything that is required, but if you look at how our, how our high education how it looked like in the year 2000 and how it looks at this moment, I think the changes are significant. The changes are notable, not just to us, but people around us. And I think it's evident for... Uh, it doesn't matter how much change, how, how many changes happened. It doesn't matter how, how uh, wrong we interpret those things. I think all of those things should happen in a lot faster way, in, in, in a more dynamic fashion. And I think that Bologna is accepted in the political arena only uh, as a declaration, as a statement, but they didn't do enough uh, in this implementation part. Uh, we didn't include the students as much, but Bologna is a large uh, reform process which is uh, very essential to the development of the entire society, and it couldn't be implemented without uh, very serious funding. Uh, uh, funding of infrastructure, which would be hel very helpful in uh, implementation, but first and foremost we didn't invest too much in people, in the human resources, and that is the mistake that we ourselves are, are responsible for uh, in some part, but not only us. And uh, we didn't create it, we haven't created a, a large number of people who have the knowledge for these kind of sophisticated uh, reforms that Bologna required. Uh, uh, they didn't know how to implement it. And in that context that we have, uh, context of knowledge and understanding that we tried, that we had, we tried to put uh, that context which was in the background, which is the Bologna itself, and it didn't fit well. I, I think that a lot more should have been invested in creating such a people, and it was the task of the university. I don't know how it is in other countries, but in Croatia, our universities, until uh, uh, two years or three years ago, the university didn't have any chance to think about its research policy and through those research policies that could have formed these kind of people, they didn't have the chance. Uh, they didn't create a people. To, they didn't uh, have the people who would have the knowledge to, to implement such a sophisticated thing as Bologna. We got this chance only like three years ago that we in our universities uh, are, uh, have the autonomy to determine our, our research policies and to form our research strategy. And one of these strategies was to create a specialized uh, training to, to create, to, to train uh, teaching staff uh, in the uh, 
uh, first in university, then in the high school and uh, primary schools. Ideas of Bologna and their primary concept is the knowledge relating to this uh, learning process needs to pour to the other areas and uh, uh, school itself needs to be implemented in school itself. Uh, in the way that our, uh, our uh, system of education is formed, it cannot be implemented. So without the very serious funding, uh, material funding, but first and foremost, we need to uh, invest in uh, human resources. In Croatia, we had uh, 60,000 uh, teachers in uh, middle schools and primary schools. So every so it can be easily calculated how many, how much funding it needs to be. So there is always a very, very small number of experts uh, who, who, who are trying to find out a solution. But if you put it in a broader context, it's a very difficult thing. One of the key weaknesses in Croatia, and I believe in all the countries around us, is there is a focus on uh, creating a specialized training to, to train, uh, there is an, a, a, a specialized training that would help to create people who would help uh, the implementation of Bologna process. Uh, Bologna also has this academic, context, uh, academic context, uh, who is uh, focused on the learning process, but we, didn't, we, aren't, uh, we weren't able to create a single spot, a single place, which would uh, produce uh, people that would be created through scientific research activities, people who would invest, uh, who would uh, create uh, uh, strategies that would lead to changes that need to happen in our society and then implement that in uh, everyday practices in our institutions, in our classrooms, uh, our senates, meetings, all those procedures that our universities and institutions and administration, whether it's local or state, federal. So our great desire is for something to happen, great desire to enter these changes, but in principle there is a confusion because we have a lack of knowledge how to achieve it. Our uh, thought in Rijeka was that Croatia, but I believe that it applies to all these countries, is that it needs a center, research center for higher education. I, our thought was uh, the, is that we should apply this uh, institutional research, uh, American principle, and it needs to be based uh, in the scientific uh, methodology. It needs to create, uh, we need to create a, a large number of people that are able to critically evaluate all these processes, uh, and we are unable to do it. In, we in Croatia, and we thought about it 10 years ago, and we discussed it 10 years ago in our university. We are trying to create it as a center, a research center for uh, training of teachers and professors. Some of you were uh, vice ministers, uh, and when you think of uh, uh, how it should be done, where we should start it, then you see it's a great deal of knowledge in order to start the thing from the very beginning. In order for the changes in school to happen, Bologna shouldn't only remain in uh, universities. Someone needs to push these changes. Uh, we all know who, who needs to push these changes. These are the principles of these schools. There are 2,000 of them in Croatia. The majority of these uh, people in Croatia are the people who were, uh, received their knowledge 30 years ago, 40 years ago, who, who finished uh, this higher school, as it was called, uh, barely, barely, um, barely 50% uh, uh, of the people in Croatia have uh, university degrees. And I, I wonder whether these people at all are able to interpret uh, what are the things that they need to do in order to change the behavior of schools without any 
naravno mi to možemo staviti ili u kontekstu kontekst obrazovanja pa recimo of lifelong education po 2 3 dana and, možemo uh, napraviti take it like a 2 days out of every month so we can make a postgraduate study of 30 credits naravno staviti plan some activities izračunati broj sati and then calculate the number of hours they need to do barem što se tiče samo ravnatelja srednje škole da se učilište u Rijeci nije u stanju odraditi tako veliki projekt. A da ne kažem što je se tisuća nastavnika, a da ne kažem naravno svih nas koji smo u visokom obrazovanju, kod nas ima negdje oko 50-60 dekana i prodekana, u Hrvatskoj ih vjerojatno je 500-600, oni bi trebali učiti u proći taj proces učenja. Naravno, ono što treba učiti je u biti opet enormno kompleksno. Things that need to be learned are enormously complex and it's not simply a question of technology and how to implement Bologna or how to organize the learning process, but it's a strategic management as well. It's a question of strategic management as well and management of process, processes of adjusting people, adjusting the teaching staff to manage the process of everyday activities. It's an enormously large process. It's an enormous process that cannot happen without changing our national cultures. It needs to be spoken of every day on TV, in the mass media. It needs to be first thing that municipal institutions need to speak of, and it needs to be followed up by funding. We have missed that, and generally speaking. All of this went well, rather how much effort we've put and energy. It went. It went well because of the enthusiasm of those old teachers who were formed in an old system, in a system who is not. They finished their education in an old school, but they were enthusiastic about taking up these changes and a challenge to apply these changes in universities. Bologna is a framework which is. Bologna is something that is very necessary in order to reform the educational system in our society. It is a precondition for our communities to remain and it needs to be, we need to be smart about it, how to organize the implementation, it needs to be a political issue as well. 